Kellogg High School students walked out today in protest of a disciplinary decision for one of the seniors. Administrators say that student made unapproved comments about gender. But now as a result of today's protest, the graduation ceremony that was supposed to be tomorrow is being postponed. In a Facebook post, the district said, quote, the Shoshone County Sheriff's Office has informed the Kellogg School District of concerns regarding the safety of students, staff and families due to a number of outside groups and agitators. Crab 2's Nathan Hyun went to Kellogg to learn more tonight. I'm standing outside Kellogg High School where earlier today more than 30 students walked out in support of a student who's been barred from walking at graduation. It all started with one sentence at the end of the year assembly. The seniors got to say one piece of advice or one thing that like they wanted to tell the rest of school and uh, I mean, he said boys are boys and girls are girls and there's no in between. This did not sit well with the school staff. We could see on some of the faces of some of the teachers that they were they weren't too happy with his comment. Students who are participating in the assembly were supposed to submit their speeches beforehand for approval. But the school says when he took the stage, the student read a different speech. The next day, the student was told because he broke the rules, he was no longer allowed to walk at graduation. I think it's definitely political. I think that if it if he would have said one side, then it could have been just brushed under the rug and whatever, and he would have been totally fine. Over the course of the week, students tell me they plan to walk out to show support. Corn Leeling was one of these students. Well, I think it was successful, at least for us getting our point across and that we should have a stand and have a say. Members of the Kellogg community also showed up, and today more than 100 people gathered outside the high school claiming the school was restricting the students' right to free speech. It was fun to see, and uh, I think a lot of people, you know, supported many different things, and, you know, but I do, I do believe we all have, like, one main goal. The school superintendent tells me it was never about the student's political stance, but because he went off script. Because of behavior reasons uh, that I can't go into, was told he could not uh, participate in the graduation ceremony. Superintendent Lance Pearson says the students who walked out today will be marked as absent with no excuse. And as of right now, there's no word on when the graduation ceremony will take place. We're worried at this point of what's going to come. You know, we don't have a lot of of officers within our sheriff's department and we are going to carefully evaluate whether or not we can hold graduation safely. As for many students, they hope the walkout makes a difference. I'd love to see him walk personally. I, I think, you know, you spent 12 years in school, you know, at least be able to walk at your graduation. Even with the protest and walkout, the superintendent here tells me that the student will still be barred from participating in the graduation ceremony. In Kellogg, Nathan Hun, Krem 2 News.